Lauren Day Makeup. Thank you so much for joining me for this makeup tutorial. Today's tutorial is a very, very simple brown smoky eye and this look is for beginners and I've had a lot of requests for beginner looks or easier kind of makeup tutorials. So this is for you guys and this is just a very nice every, everyday average brown kind of smoky eye, nude lips. This look would be perfect for school, work, on the weekends, um, if you're not really into wearing makeup. The, um, this look is you know something that you can practice over and over and it's something that you can wear you know on a daily basis it's not something that um, is too difficult and this look this brown kind of smoky eyes this look would go with kind of anything you're wearing you can wear this with whites you could wear it with neutrals blacks pinks and I'll show you guys how to change this look up um, to get different um, looks as well um, so this um, tutorial is for the beginners and I'm going to show you basically the basic makeup techniques um, to have three different shades of eyeshadow a light um, highlight color which is the one underneath my brow bone then you have your medium color which is on the inner corner of the eye um, on the you know the eyelid area and then you have your contour color which is the color that is in the crease six uh, three basic colors that you need for um, your eyes, um, you know, for any colors that you're using. So you can use, you can adapt this technique to any eyeshadow colors that you're using. It's very, very simple and basic. So stay tuned now and I'll show you what I used on my face and then I'll show you step by step how I applied the eyes, which is what I'm concentrating on in this look. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, please um, feel free to um, comment below. I can answer any questions that you have. Um, check out my blog as well for pictures um, and more information, more detailed information about this look. Um, there'll be a video about three um, different looks from the one eyeshadow. If you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. For this look I'm using my Alme brush set. And I love this brush set because it comes with all the basic brushes you need to apply a basic makeup look. There is the powder brush here, which is used to apply your face powder. You've got your blush brush, which is great for applying your blush and any contour or bronzers. You've also got um, a foundation brush, brush, which is great for applying your foundation if you're using liquid, which is what I do. Uh, this concealer brush I use to apply the base for my eyeshadow because I'm using cream eyeshadow. Then you receive this um, shader brush here, which is really, really good, and that's a flat, um, just a basic shader eyeshadow brush, and you can use both sides of that. And then you get this brush, which is really good. This one is um, like a contour or crease brush. And this is the eyeshadow that I'm using. You'll basically need a dark brown to contour in the um, crease area. You'll need a lighter shade, which is a two shades lighter than your skin tone to go underneath the eyebrow to highlight that's your highlight and then you'll need a color that is close to your skin tone this one is a really nice shimmery skin tone color so these are the three colors and these are the basics of eye uh, makeup you need your darker your lighter and then your mid-tone color and I'll show you how to apply these As Napoleon Perda says, it's always a crime not to prime. So I started this look off with the Napoleon Perdis Autopilot um, Face Primer, and that will help your makeup stay on. The foundation that I'm using today is the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. And this is a great foundation for special occasions um, and great for when you're taking photos. Great for the weekend or any um, you know events that you're going to. Um, it's got your SPF 20 in there so you can you know wear this outdoors. Um, so I really highly recommend this foundation. It gives you a really nice perfect finish. And I also set this with the large powder brush that you get in the kit. Um, I set this with um, the Rimmel Silky Loose Face Powder and the colour that I'm using is um, number one translucent and I love this face powder it's just really finely very finely milled and it's translucent goes perfect over the top of my nude um, foundation either my color stay or my photo ready and I just love it I also used the blush brush in the kit 
applied um, a shade of blush which is two shades darker than my skin tone. The one that I'm using is by Benefit and it's the Dallas blush and if you're a regular viewer of my channel you'll know that I love this blush. So that's the one that I'm using and I just swirl my brush around in there and then apply that just lightly me a little bit of a shimmery bronzy glow uh, this shimmery bronzer and this is the pink leopard uh, bronzer from Too Faced and it's really really pretty and there's lots of bronzers out there that look like this that have the the pink and the brown and the gold um, so there's lots of dupes out there um, for this bronzer and I just lightly swirl my brush around in that tap the excess off and then just apply that to the very tops of my cheekbones Natural Lip Liner by NYX and this is one of my very favourites. It's just a really nice perfect nude colour and it's a little bit darker than my skin tone so uh, it defines my lips really really well. I'm also using this um, lipstick and this is by Revlon and this is my new favourite lipstick. I love this lipstick and it's what, definitely one of my all time favourite nudes and I'm so glad I purchased this lipstick. It's just adorable and I love it. And a little bit of a natural gloss over the top. And this one I'm using is by Glam Shine and I think this one's discontinued but any of the Glam Shine lip glosses that are just that neutral kind of tone would be really really good and I like these because A I like the applicator. This is the applicator and it's just, it's so precise, it's great and it's really precise for the cupid's bow. Yeah. So that's um, my face and now I'll show you guys my eyes. Start this look with the Revlon Not Just Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. These are cream eyeshadows. I'm using the darkest brown and the shimmery skin tone colour here. I'm using the concealer brush. And this gives you a really nice finish when you're applying the cream eyeshadows and helps you to blend. So I'm using this as my eyeshadow base and I'm putting the lighter skin tone colour all over my eyelid area and then blending up into the crease. I'm then flipping the brush over and I'm going to be using that darker brown. And with my brush on a little bit of an angle, I'm going to then um, create the base for the contour of my eyes. Now you want to concentrate majority of the colour on the outer corner of the eye and then with the excess left over on the brush you're going to blend this into the crease area and this is going to create your base for the contour. And this is important because this is what the eyeshadow uses to stick to so it lasts all day long. Use your concealer brush to make sure that you get a very thin layer so that it doesn't crease. And then once you've finished with the brush just blend lightly with your fingertips to get rid of any harsh lines. Now with your eyeshadow brush we're going to be applying the highlight and this is the lighter colour out of the three and we're going to be putting this underneath the eyebrow and this lifts the eye and brightens the eye area. Next we're using the skin tone colour which is our mid-tone and we're going to be applying this all over the eyelid area concentrating on the inner corner and just patting the eyeshadow on. Get all the eyeshadow on first and then start blending. Next grab your contour or crease brush and with the darkest brown, this is our contour colour, this is our accent, this is our crease colour and we're going to be applying this starting off at the outer corner of the eye and creating what we call the V shape which is starting at the outer corners and then we're going to use the excess product left over on the brush to lightly blend up into the crease. Your crease is halfway between your eyeliner and your brow bone so this is where you're looking to find the crease this area here and this adds the depth to the eye so just apply with your contour brush get the product on there don't worry if it looks like a bit it's a bit harsh we're going to blend later and this really adds the depth to the eye this step is really really important now with your shader brush again just use a little bit of that highlight color and this is what we're going to do, very light motions, and this is your windscreen wiper motions. And you're just going to apply that colour over the top of the crease. And this step is really important because what we're doing now is blending all the harsh lines away so that the contour colour fades up into the highlight colour. And this is the real key element of um, really good makeup is this step here, blending. Now with a Q-tip and your shimmery cream eyeshadow, just apply this into the inner corner of the eye and this is going to brighten the eye. This is our base 
and then we're going to put some eyeshadow over the top. So flip the cotton tip over and then use that highlight colour that we put under the, uh, under the eyebrow and add this to the inner corner of the eye. We're going to do the same with the darker colour. So a little bit on the cotton tip and then apply this to the outer corner of the eye of the lower lash line and then put the shadow over the top. This locks it into place, the cream plus the shadow over the top. It really gives you that long lasting effect and you're using Q-tips so it's really really inexpensive, you don't need any fancy brushes. Add your favourite black eyeliner, your favourite mascara, your blush, lipstick and lip gloss and this completes the look. So I hope you enjoyed this bronze basic eye tutorial and if you like this video please subscribe.